when you chalk up for your next set, it's nice to have a chalk stand. Now, of course, a bag of chalk will do, as will a bucket of chalk that's just sitting on the floor. But a chalk stand will make less of a mess than a bag of chalk. And because it's raised up off the ground as compared to just a bucket of chalk that's sitting on the floor, you don't have to bend over nearly as far to chalk up, which is kind of a nice feature when you've already got your belt tightened because you're ready to lift. So with all this in mind, let's discuss how to quickly make a simple and cheap chalk stand. Step one, go to your nearest hardware store and purchase the following items. And of course, you may already have some of these items at home. You're gonna to wanna to get two five gallon buckets. Ideally, you wanna choose a color option that allows you to find some matching spray paint, but this part is kind of optional. So you'll need two buckets. You're gonna need one lid that matches one of these buckets, that fits these buckets, but you only need one lid. You're also gonna need, I don't have this here with me, you're gonna need a roll of duct tape and then you're also gonna want some spray paint. Again, some spray paint that is ideally somewhat close to the color of these buckets, but again, kind of optional. Step two, set one of these buckets upside down on the ground. Now you'll notice there's handles on these buckets. You're gonna to wanna to remove these handles. Um, if you've got a pliers handy, that makes it a little bit easier, but you can just yank them out. I'm not going to yank them out because we use these buckets for some other things and it's kind of a pain to put the handles back in. So one bucket upside down on the ground. Step three, you're gonna take the other bucket and place it right side up on top of the first bucket. You're gonna to try to line it up real carefully there. So now you've got two buckets stacked on top of each other and the closed ends of the buckets are now facing each other. And again, you're gonna to wanna to remove the handle here. Step four, and you'll just have to imagine me doing this here, you wanna tape the two buckets together by wrapping duct tape around the bucket several times. You wanna tape the seam where these two buckets meet here. You wanna tape the seam as well as above and below the seam to kind of lock everything together. If you go around the bucket five or six times, you should be pretty good to go. Step five, and now you should have something that's starting to look a little bit like this. You're gonna spray paint the buckets. Now, this part is optional and it's purely for aesthetic purposes only. It's nice to have paint that somewhat closely matches the color of the buckets for two reasons. Number one, this is supposed to be a quick process. So as long as you've covered the logos and any printing on the buckets, if you actually care about this anyway, as long as you've covered the logos and the paint closely matches the bucket, it's, you're gonna be good to go. It'll look just fine as long as it's reasonably close. The other reason it's nice to have the paint closely match the color of the bucket is because eventually, and you can see this on this one because we've, we've had this one for a couple years, the paint is gonna start chipping or wearing away anyway, especially depending on how many people are using it. So as it does start to wear or chip away, if the color underneath, the color of the bucket, closely matches the color of the paint, then you're really not gonna notice this a whole lot. Step number six, you're gonna take the lid that you bought and you're gonna place it upside down, so face up, you're gonna place that on the ground and you're gonna take some heavy object. It can be a brick, it can be a 10 pound plate, something like that. You're gonna place it on top of the lid and then you're gonna place your chalk bucket, your chalk, excuse me, your chalk stand directly on top of that. And you're gonna press down hard, make sure that lid seals. And now you've weighted the bottom of the bucket. So it's gonna be that much harder to actually tip over. You can actually tip it quite a ways and it'll still stand up. Step number seven, you're gonna take a chalk topper. Again, this part's optional, but you're gonna take what's called a chalk topper and place it over the top of the chalk bucket. This has a couple advantages. We found that when we've got fans blowing in the gym, and we typically do, especially when it's hot, obviously, this reduces the chance of chalk, du chalk dust kind of being sucked out of the bucket and blown away. So it certainly helped to make less of a mess in that regard. And if you've got a lot of people using your chalk buckets, for some reason, this tends, this kind of smaller hole here, tends to exert a very nice mental pressure on people and encourages them to keep their hands in the bucket when they're chalking up and therefore make less of a mess. It doesn't always work, but it's kind of a nice feature. Step number eight, take a block of chalk, put it in your bucket, and you're good to go. In other news, we host a bunch of events here at Testify, and we would love to see you at some of them. Coming up on May 8th, that's this upcoming Saturday, we've got the Testify Barbell Mayhem Weightlifting Meet, that's the Snatch and Clean and Jerk. In June, on June 26th, we've got the annual Testify Strongman Summer Showdown. 
on July 10th, we've got Iron Fest 3. This is a team event. You and a partner will perform the squat, the press, the bench press, and the deadlift. One partner will perform the one upper body movement and one lower body movement, and the other partner will perform the other upper body movement and the other lower body movement. You each get three attempts, so it's kind of like a powerlifting or a strength lifting meet, but it's team oriented. And we've got multiple categories. We'll have male male teams, male female teams, and female female teams. So that's coming up on July 10th. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's not incredibly formal. We would we would invite you to come on out and. Uh, compete. In October, this is not on our events page yet, but it will be. 99% chance this is the date. October 23rd, we've got our annual Testify Fall Classic. That's a strength lifting meet, so it's the squat, the press, sometimes referred to as the overhead press. It's the squat, the press, and the deadlift. And then in December, possibly a two-day weightlifting meet. We will see. Depends on how many people sign up. Uh, December 3rd and 4th, we've got the Testify Christmas Classic weightlifting meet. So it for sure will be on the 4th that Saturday. We'll see if we need to have it on that Friday as well. So you can find all these events and any future events on our website. Go to testifysc.com and click the events button or simply go to testifysc.com slash events. We hope to see you at some of those. We hope this was useful and if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We will see you next time and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.